Um, I was actually writing the newsletter for the hit sparring event uh, right now and as I'm writing all this stuff I realize that uh, it kind of comes off as cheesy and a little insincere uh, written and so I actually fired up the webcam. This is uh, me coming to you straight from my home office. Uh, it's my living room as you can see the, I think right over here, the velvet white tiger painting uh, that hangs here. So uh, yes, straight from South Philly. Um, here's what I want to talk about really quick. I'm going to adjust this real quick. Um, you know, I, I, a lot of people saying that they, they're interested in competing or participating in like our sparring event, but don't feel ready or they feel a little uncomfortable or a little nervous. And all I have to say to you is that's totally normal. That's one of the reasons that we do this. And we, I've talked to a couple of people and done this sort of thought experiment and sort of a visualization thing. And I just want to do it and maybe uh, reach out to, even if it's just like one or two people that maybe this sends a message to or sort of resonates with, that's great. Um, let's sort of go back to the first day that you thought about training, let's say just kickboxing, mixed martial arts, whatever. I, I remember my first day, I, I, uh, it was actually six years before I, before I even started and I would research a ton of stuff, but I never took any action. I was always way too intimidated by it. But, Let's just say, you know, think back to your first day, you probably Googled, let's say, you know, Philadelphia Mixed Martial Arts, uh, saw a couple websites, did some research, and then just put it down. You're like, oh, this isn't for me, or I'm not sure if this is something that I can do. Uh, eventually, you called, and you're probably really, really nervous when you called, uh, set up an appointment, came to the gym, probably walking up the stairs in Philadelphia, let's say you came to our Philadelphia school, you walk up those three flights of stairs, your heart's pounding, you're not sure what to expect, maybe it's going to be a bunch of like heavily tattooed, heavily steroid abuser type people just beating each other up. Uh, you get in there, go through the private lesson, and uh, you're still pretty nervous, but you, but you decide you're going you're gonna to sign up, you're going to do it, you're going to take kind of a leap of faith. Come back to your first class, probably freaked out as well, really intimidated, and eventually you get really comfortable with what we're doing, and, and here you are now, uh, relatively competent, like you know, all, you, you're pretty comfortable coming to the class and doing all the, all the stuff that we do, you know, jump rope, shadow boxing, um, light sparring, pad work, all that stuff, right? So you're, so you're kind of operating in your comfort zone now. And now we have this thing that gives you the sense of maybe anxiety and intimidation that you haven't felt in a while. And, you know, what I would ask you is, do you think it's possible that you will look back on the sparring experience the same way that you looked back on training? Like, for example, you know, as you've gone through the tunnel, you come out the other side and now are a martial artist and you look back on the mindset that you had thinking about joining in the first place, you probably think that you, there was really not a lot of reason to be intimidated or insecure or, or, or whatever. That, you know, this is something that you can do, it's something that you enjoy, and it's something that empowers you. So, as I said, would it be possible, do you think that it's possible that after you go through the sparring experience, you look back on your attitudes and insecurities regarding participating and, and say, wow, that was totally unnecessary. It was actually something that I did really well at and I really enjoyed and I can't wait to do it again. So that's kind of what I want you to really think about because as we're coming down to the wire here, the event's going to be on Saturday. I really need to know if you're going to participate. So I have, um, we have the RSVP link and if you're seeing this on Facebook, I'm going to put the RSVP link uh, let's see, right here, right below, uh, in one of the comments, and I want you to sign up and, and let us know that you're going to come. If you're seeing this in an email or on YouTube, um, I'll try to get the RSVP link out there, you know, manageable way and easy way. Uh, also, at noon on Saturday, we're going to have like a BJJ open mat and barbecue, and it's uh, kind of first of its kind, so we're going to fully cater it. You're going to come in, you're going to get some good rolls in, and it's BYOB, so if you're over 21, that could be anything. If, uh, if you're under 21, maybe... Uh, Sippy, sippy cups and juicy juice and Capri Suns or whatever uh, is age appropriate. Okay, um, Jackson Galka, signing out from South Philly. I will see you later. Take care.